Hello, my friends. How are you today? So, today's exciting video is the shopping that I did last week with Rebecca. We went to oh, three different places, right? We went to, oh my gosh, where did I go? <laughs> I know we ended at Dog Junkies. And we went to Salvation Army and we went to Deseret Industries. So we kind of hit like North Las Vegas here. And then I received a few packages in the mail. So I'm going to share those goods with you. I'm trying to do one video. So this is my new plan, everybody. You know, every week it's a new plan. <laughs> so um, anyway, I'm Carrie the Desert Mermaid. And hello and welcome to my home. And you can see my peacock friends right over here in a giant window behind me. So anyway, um, I want to do a video a week of opening and showing what I purchased and then I'm going to get brave and try to do a thrifting video every week. Again, I have to figure out how to use my uh, camera a little better or my phone because uh, the biggest problem I had was I couldn't figure out how to make my phone turn back around. So that's going to be a project this week. I'm going to get it figured out. But in the meantime, we're going to keep on uh, experimenting and do some of the uh, live thrifting. So we'll see how it goes. You know what? <laughs> you guys are learning right along with me. I'm hoping this is encouraging you to try something new and different, something you've never done before, because I sure have never done this before. And it's uh, very interesting learning as you go. I appreciate the tips. I think, uh, you know, every, every video is a little bit of an improvement, you know, and someday I can look back at these and laugh. <laughs> I'm hoping we'll see. But anyway, that's my plan. Also, I did create a second YouTube channel called Desert Mermaid Reads for the reading of that catalog. I also have some other pieces of uh, some different publications and things that I have that are uh, like 1950s uh, through or back to the early 1900s. So there will be more interesting readings coming up. Okay, so stay tuned for that or go subscribe to that channel, Desert Mermaid Reads. I'll, it's in the uh, description here down below. So just another little crazy note. In my description, I have like all the links to all my pages you can join or not join. I have no pressure on you to do anything. You do what you want to do. I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. That's great. It is free. There is no charge for subscribing to any YouTube channels. I just want to make sure you guys know that. The only time you pay for something in YouTube is some channels have memberships that you can belong to. I do not have one of those because I wouldn't even know what to do. So, you subscribe to me, it is free of charge. You can watch me on your TV, you can watch me on a phone, whatever you, you, whatever you choose, whatever you choose. There's no pressure here, none of that. Because man, that makes me crazy when people try to pressure you into doing stuff. So, but if you'd like to, all of my links and things are down below, as well as some of my good friends um, that also have YouTube channels. Now, not everybody's a thrifter in my list. So, hmm, you know? variety. This is spice of life. So let's get started. I am going to show you the things that I purchased first and then we'll go to the boxes. Okay. Let's see now. Oh goodness gracious alive. Okay. If you guys know me, you know, I enjoy a good read. Let me show you what I purchased because I'd love to discuss these books. <sighs> Lillian Braun, Lillian Jackson Braun, the Cat Who series. This, if you want a light read, mystery, you enjoy cats, you enjoy a little bit of, um, <laughs> these books are for you. They are so enjoyable to read. You can finish one in a day, I swear. They're just amazing. So it's literally about a uh, crime reporter with a very luxurious mustache. Again, another luxurious mustache guy. And his life, he uh, moved from being a crime writer to a city, I believe it's in Minnesota, and lives his life there. And he has two Siamese cats 
who tend to help him with local mysteries that occur. He's dating the librarian. It is just the cutest bunch of stories ever. And I suggest if you decide to read her, start at the beginning because the storyline continues, like each book is on its own, but the storyline does continue through the whole entire series. Now, unfortunately, this lovely lady passed away, so the books ended, but they... <laughs> They're just absolutely darling. And you know how I found these? This is this is how I love going to the library because who doesn't enjoy reading books for free? Give them back. It's like recycle, repurpose, right? When I was living in Buffalo, I would go to my local library. And I again, I love mysteries. I know not everybody loves mysteries, but I love mysteries. I went to the mystery shelf and I started at A and I tried to read every single book going through the alphabet. I didn't get, I only got to like C's at the time, but this was under the B's and that's how I accidentally found this and I loved it. So you'd be surprised. Challenge, I guess, if you want, go to the library, pick a shelf, try to read the whole shelf. Why not? You never know what you're going to find. Some fabulous new authors. I did. So anyway, one of my purchases was one, two, three, four, five, six of these Lillian Braun. Oh, more. There's more than six. There's a bunch. This was from Deseret. I have got nine of her books because I can't think of how many are in the series, but oh my gosh, they're just really, really a very, very fun read. So if you enjoy reading like I do, Take a check. Take a peek at Lillian. She's pretty fun. Pretty fun. And then, I don't know why I got this. Okay, do you, sometimes I get things and I'm like, what, what are you doing? I don't know. I love this frame. And then look at the picture. <laughs> this is for my friends that love black cats. Now, again, I do have a show coming up. Friday the 13th in October and I'm like this is this is a fabulous 13th right the black cat don't let black cat cross your path right I think that's a bunch of baloney my son has a gorgeous black cat named Susie and she's adorable the most beautiful green eyes ever so anyway I don't believe in that stuff but isn't that really cool the frame to me the frame is what did it right so Another one of my mysteriously crazy purchases. <laughs> Listen, I never said there's any rhyme or reason to the stuff that I buy. There sure isn't. Oh, this is for tonight's Moo Moo Monday. It has pockets and it's a little bit larger size. So we got a Moo Moo for our giveaway tonight. Let's put that to the side and then I got this interesting crazy looking dress now I know I know I know it's crazy looking but it's going for the I don't know why I'm so crazy for this Friday the 13th thing but for some reason I'm just getting all these really interesting things look at this I have never seen anything so f ridiculous as this dress but anyway we're gonna just throw that off to the side that, oh, and it landed in the Friday the 13th box that I have sitting over there. I just thought it was interesting. And then I got myself, this will be being worn in a future Moo Moo thing because I don't have a ton of Moo Moo's myself. <laughs> so I'm like, this is cute. I love red. I love the little knit at the top. So this is my little moo moo I'll be wearing probably uh, in a few weeks. So how exciting is that? Probably not too exciting. I thought this was adorable for Christmas time. Isn't that so cute? Somebody made this. Do you remember everybody was making those blankets, the twisty blankets? I haven't seen too many of the pillows and I thought this was really cute. So this will be a cute little uh, purchase for someone at Christmas time. Let's, Whew. off it goes. Okay, this I love. I can appreciate the uh, Mexican culture of the Day of the Dead. 
Look at somebody handmade this beautiful thing. Isn't that beautiful? It's a hanky on the back. Somebody made this. It is just absolutely beautiful. There's like a card on the bottom. So anyway, Rebecca actually picked this one out for me. I have a fine appreciation of that. Who doesn't enjoy appreciating their ancestors, right? I do, because I have some good ones. And I miss them dearly. Let's see what we got. Oh. Okay, you guys, just, I hope you laugh along with me for some of these crazy purchases. What am I thinking of? I don't know. <laughs> it's the rollerblading cow. I think you might have seen this in my video if you watch the video. Tell me that is not the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen. Oh my gosh, I was, I was about peeing my pants when I saw this guy. He's from 2002, so he's officially considered vintage. He or she, she, because it's a cow. But <laughs> look at her elbow pads and wrist guard. Very accurate. Very accurate. Oh, my gosh. I don't know what I'm thinking of again. And then I got more Halloween goods. Yeah, I'm really stuck on Halloween for some reason. Isn't that just fun? Just little usual scary Halloween themed. And there's actually two of these. Two of those. Oh, goodness gracious, alive. So I believe. Nope, that's not the extent. Oh, wait till you see this, you guys. Wait till you see these. Yeah, I'm knocking my own stuff over all over the place. An eight ball latch hook kit complete never touched who doesn't love la I loved latch hooking I used to latch hook all the time I made a giant rug for one of my friends when I was going to college the first time and I used to bring it to school and have my friends latch hook with me <laughs> I just did a big white and black pattern with a wave through the center and he loved it so that was uh, really fun. And this is 27 inches round, so that's a pretty good size. I just can't tell if I want to sell it or keep it because I love latch hooking. It's very relaxing. And then I'm not shoving food in my mouth either, which, you know, psh, you know how that goes, my friends. You know how that goes. And then look at this. It's a Grinch latch hook. I believe it's for a pillow. And they even included a latch hook in here. Wow, that's surprising. Usually you don't find those. But isn't that awesome? The Grinch. I do have a craft show coming up. So this guy's probably going to go on a craft show because I'm not. I love the Grinch, but it's not as excited by a pillow, I guess. Okay. Let's see. I believe this next portion is from... I believe this next portion is from Salvation Army. Let's take a look. Yes, it is. I believe so. Or no, this is, is this dog? Okay. I don't know which one this is from. Okay. It's from one of the two. I love anything. I, you know what? Actually, this is from Dog Junkies. This is from Dog Junkies. Okay. That's what we did. So. I love things with sun, moon, and stars. It's one of my favorites. It's just a little, it's made in the Philippines. Like, not quite cardboard, but ish. Right? It's just really pretty. And it's gold, which gold, I'm like a crow. <laughs> I go for the shiny and gold things. So, we got that. Look at these. Isn't that adorable? Just for a piece of decor? Yeah, they're glass. Hello! I just thought that was like so neat for someone that's a traveler. This is like perfect. Let me see what else. I didn't get a ton there, but um, they had some pretty fun sales. Oh. I got her that I keep on forgetting her name, but she's adorable. And look at what it's called. 
the princess of quite a lot. <laughs> this goes out to all my thrifting friends. We are all the princesses or queens of quite a lot. <laughs> oh, I loved that. That made me laugh so hard. So yeah. And then these are really cool. These are very cool. Look at these hand painted coca pellies. Chimes. Right? I've actually got two of exactly the same thing. Now the interesting thing, they're not signed on the outside. I don't know if I don't think they're signed on the inside either. Okay, so they're not signed which is unusual, but they are really pretty. So two of these. And then I want you to tell me what you think this is about. Can you guess? This is actually a vintage shirt, 100% cotton. Pinking them, right? I'm putting this in my show for tonight on whatnot because Barbie is all this pink gingham right now. I don't remember Barbie having pink gingham, but for some reason everything is pink gingham on Barbie. So this is going to be my little salute to Barbie on my show. And I also have a uh, Barbie uh, collector book going up for sale today. So one day, one day I will let go of my Barbies, but I have to sort, 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 clean, and fix first. And then we're going to have one heck of a Barbie show. It's coming, people. It's coming, I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear. And then I got this shirt for me. I always look for little comfy shirts. This is like nice little cotton. So I like that. Cause you know, when it's so hot, oh my gosh, you need to have cotton, don't you? And then I don't know what this is for. Okay, we're gonna take a look at this. Huh, okay. So here's a yellow top. I think I got this to wear as well because yellow goes nice with my hair. Everybody tells me. So you know what? I'm listening to you guys. You tell me stuff. Oh my gosh. In one of these days, I'm going to, I want to do it. I have to figure out when I can do it. But one of the shows, we're going to fool around with the eyebrows. I got some suggestions from some lovely folks and I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it, but I can't guarantee it's going to stick around because uh, every time I try it, I look ridiculous. So anyway, let's go on to what we got at Salvation Army. Stay. My husband is like, oh good, bring in more junk, hey. But you know what I got us? A bread box. That's all my stuff from Salvation in there. But anyway, we, like just put our bread on a counter. And I'm like, why not have it all go into the bread box? And it's a nice little, uh, you know, stainless steel guy. He just needs a really good cleanup. So this way we can put all our bread in one spot, except for anything with cinnamon. I don't know how you guys feel. My husband loves cinnamon bagels. He loves the cinnamon. And then he puts it next to every other bread. And what does the bread taste like? Cinnamon. I try to tell him, keep it separate, keep the cinnamon away. It overpowers the other breads. He does not listen that Jeffrey Parker. He's a troublemaker. He's a troublemaker, but you know what? He puts up with me, so I have nothing to say about it. Oh gosh, you guys. I have a Hello 90s right here. Ready? Ready? <laughs> Do you guys remember this? With the conch, concho shells and all the rest of the stuff in the fringe. And it does have the single stitch on the sleeve. Oh my gosh, I was dying when I saw this. I'm like, you know what? I gotta get that and see if I could sell that. There's a page, I think I've already told you guys about the quirky pages that are on Facebook. And they have so many people in there that love 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s stuff. Well, hello, right there. I'm going to see if somebody falls for that guy because um, that's interesting, isn't it? I'm like, holy smoke. 
Oh, I did get a little trinket box. It's a little, looks like a little cocker spaniel. Very cute. And then, so these, I, got, I love belts. I know belts don't always sell really well, but I love belts. I think they're a fun sell. They're easy. You put them in an envelope and ship them on their way. Well, this guy I got because I got a lot of dresses from the 50s. I got to dig them out of my garage, but they none of them have the skinny belts on them. So I've been trying to collect interesting skinny belts to match up with those dresses. So I found this one and I thought, oh my gosh, how fun is that guy? So we'll see if that matches anybody. And then I got this beautiful belt. I mean, again, not everybody loves belts. But you go to the store and buy a leather belt, they're not very cheap, right? So this guy, this is a Chico's leather made in Morocco. And look at it. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful belt. And look at the buckle. Isn't that nice? This one fits a small to a medium and it's leather. You can't beat that. So anyway, I have a thing for belts. I don't know. I like selling them. They're easy, again, to sell and ship and all of that goodness. And then, look at this. A book on Marilyn. Like, I know, she's, she's naked on the cover. But you know what? It's all about her life. And I think, what does it say? The Last Take Marilyn. At last, the true and complete story of Marilyn Monroe's final days. That's kind of actually sad, but it gives all these different details of her life. So for Marilyn fans, this will be up for sale soon. Then I got this. So our bedroom is Egyptian themed. And I think, you know, I opened up a box and I had a bunch of those papyrus. Well, these plates, right? I got this plate there. I'm very excited. I have, um, when I had my antique mall booth, I had a, um, it was a room divider, but it was like a, uh, oh my gosh, what is the name? Where you could stick the hooks in the wall that I can't think of right the second because sometimes I just forget things. But anyway, it's a, room divider made of those so i have all the pegboard <laughs> so i have all the pegs still and i have it up in my room and i'm hanging all of these different plates on there so this will be the third plate that i have isn't it amazing though i love this stuff it's so fun part of the reason we're doing the egyptian theme is because jeffrey parker was in the military he um he flew planes in the war before he was over in the Middle East. It was before the last big confrontation and stuff. But he, um, before Desert Storm, he was able to go to Egypt. He went through the pyramids and everything, and he, it just really affected him. He loved it. So we, he has a bunch of stuff that he got from Egypt so we're trying to make the boudoir, the Egyptian room. And, you know, I'm a fan of any of the Middle Eastern stuff. You know, my family, again, is Lebanese. We're, I'm part Lebanese. I'm not 100%. I'm a true 100% melting pot American girl with, uh, you know, many different nationalities. But, you know, one that I was always very proud of was my Lebanese heritage uh, because it was so easily traceable. My, grandpa, my grandfather's parents came to the country in the very early 1900s and we celebrated like 100 years of our family being in the country and blah 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 plus a lot of the culture is really fun and interesting um the food is always very interesting i don't like all of it but i do like some of it i make some but anyway the other thing i got look at this isn't she pretty the corel wear I thought this would be an easy sell just because it's a nice little platter and, you know, whatever. And then somebody just sent me a message saying that Corning and Pyrex are filing bankruptcy. I'm really surprised. I'm very surprised about that because if you live in New York State, you took a trip to Corning. 
that was like a big deal, you know, to either go, it was either a field trip when you were on, in school, or it was just something you did on your own to go see the glass blowing factory. Now, I know the factory, I don't believe the factory is closing. I haven't researched it, but they're saying the people that own the Corel and the Pyrex are going bottoms up. I'm very surprised. So anyway, more to come, or if you know anything, let me know in the comments. I'd love to know. The last thing I got, working nine to five, Dolly Parton, very, very popular person, very popular. So I got one of her t-shirts to sell. I just thought it was really cute. Look at her. Isn't she cute? So, all right, that's the end of the stuff that I got. Again, crazy. I never said I, I never said I was the smartest uh, shopper with, I know so many people, you know, collect the glass and this and, you know, but I think a lot of thrift stores tend to put their higher priced items either on their own auction site or whatever they do with those items because I don't always find them in the stores, which it's okay because again, I do not love shipping glass. I don't love it. Oh, it is just not fun. I, I, ugh, breakage just makes me a nervous wreck. It makes me an absolute nervous wreck. And I just don't want that to happen. So I'm going to shove that stuff back in a bag right there because I'm going to go list some of these items as soon as we're done here. Let's get to the boxes. So, I got this box right here, which is actually something that I purchased off of Whatnot from one of my lovely, lovely, oh, she's adorable. One of my lovely, lovely friends. <laughs> one of my lovely friends, Michelle. She's a doll. And actually, she just started her own YouTube channel, which I'm going to have down in my description, as well as one of my friends, Michelle Fun Finds. She's a sweetheart. Met her in Buffalo. We got to have a good time there. Yeah, I got some fun things from her. Look. Ooh. Do you know how much I love these cupies? So This is like somebody's sock that they made for as an outfit for the cupie. Ah! Oh, I love these cupies. This one's going to go up. I think this one's going to stay with me. I don't think that's going to get sold. I have a little tiny cupie collection started because they make me think of Joni. Their hands. Look at the little starfish hand. Tell me that doesn't make you think of every baby with the little dimples on it. It's just adorable. And then her and I have this thing. Well, not her and I, but somebody else and I have this thing for these gosh darn it. But this is really fun. This one is really fun. The Carnival Chalkware. So this was given as a prize back in like between the 30s to the 50s, I think. You would like hit the balloon, you would whack the hammer, you would throw the dime, whatever you did, and then you'd win these crazy, either like these chalkware, they also have like the um, brass ponies too, which I loved those. I think I have one somewhere, but I don't know, I've got to dig them out somewhere. But anyway, Carnival Prize, doggy. And look at how nicely he's painted. A lot of them, their paint is not this vibrant at this point. So that's a fun find. Let me tell you, I also purchase, I do whatnot and I purchase things from whatnot because it is really fun. I love it. And the stuff that you find is amazing. And then what did I just say that I love talking about? Sun, Moon, and Stars. I got this book from her. Sun, Moon, and Stars book. But it's beautiful to display. An imaginary visit to the moon. Oh, no. Astronomy for beginners. Oh, I love that. You know what? My husband might like this because he really loves astronomy. And this is from 1946. So we may be hanging on to this for the hubster. Thank you, Michelle. That was beautiful stuff. And then I got another little package here from another lovely, lovely seller on whatnot. Her name is Lauren. 
L O R underscore N or I N. Look. Oh my God, I love her. I love her. I got this lot of its brats clothing, and then I also got a Monster High from her. I love this stuff. When am I ever going to let this stuff go? When am I ever going to do it? Why do I keep liking it and not giving it up? I don't know, because it's very hard to do. I love it. And again, I was collecting Monster Highs for Joni, so I need to go through, figure out the ones I'm keeping, and sell off the rest. So I swear, I swear that's going to happen. It's just a matter of getting through and sorting. So because you know what I do? I'll take this. I'm going to throw it in a box with the rest of the stuff, and it will sit there until I decide when I'm going to sort it. But that's my girl, Lauren. She, oh, it's L-O-R underscore N. So if you're on whatnot, she is a toy girl. And let me tell you, her toys are fabulous. If you uh, collect toys or you like purchasing toys on whatnot, she's your girl. Now, oh my gosh. This, let's see what this is. I put my scissors somewhere and I forgot where I put them. So, I'm going to just keep spinning my head around like, you know, I'm possessed or something. No, no. She's like, this is, I think I know who this is from. Oh, I just ripped it. There's a card. I'm going to go backwards because the tape. Oh, tape is so sticky. It's so sticky. I think I know who this is from. Oh, this is adorable. It is. Is this my Bonnie? It is. Bonnie lives here in Las Vegas. This poor honey has been through a lot of stuff. She came to when Mikey and Sonny had a meetup over at Boulder City Swap Meet. And she is, I'm so excited. She's going to be a YouTuber. Can I tell you? I, good, good. I love it. I love it. I love it. She's going to do fabulous. I can't wait. Granny Bonnie. One thousand. Okay, we're as soon as I figure out her stuff, I will make sure that I post it. She also, I'm going to. She's on a trip right now, and through August, Bonnie, my girl, right? And then we're gonna meet up because she told me something that I could just cry over. She had a miniature store. Do I like miniatures? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Those I don't mind selling. I don't mind selling miniatures. So we're going to do some fun stuff together. Oh my gosh. Oh, she ephemerated me. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. Stickers. St oh, it's mermaids. Oh my gosh. Yep, the cards. Look at this. Look at how cute. Oh, Bonnie, thank you. Thank you. I love stuff like this. Oh, yeah. She's got little presents in here. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's take a look at those real fast. Let me put this in the bag. That is adorable. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A million times. Thank you, Bonnie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to say it 500 times. I love it. Look at this. That was the name of her shop and their little presents. Oh, can you even stand it? Oh, she's a sweetheart. She's a doll. Okay, Bonnie, thank you. Thank you so much. You're a sweetheart. Okay, I've got one more box. Ready? Let me yank it up here. Let's just put that over here. Every time I do a box opening, I make such a mess in my house. So I'm hoping not to tear up my whole house today. Okay. Now this, oh, for goodness sake, Cat O'Neill. 
she's a sweetheart we've been talking back and forth because i got a pile of stuff for her that i'm gonna get shipped out to you but are you kidding me oh <gasps> cat i love her so much she's going right on the bed she's going right on the bed as soon as i'm done filming this she's going right on the bed I can't even stand it. That's packing, okay. Oh. Oh, she gave me some hankies. I love hankies. I love them. And I love hearing what people are doing with the hankies. So I think I'm gonna be having some hanky sales coming up because I love them. Oh my gosh, look at this. Flowers for hair decorating crafts. What a cutie pie. Oh, goodness gracious, alive. Oh. Look at that. Cuff links. She labeled everything. Skeleton keys. Girl, you watch me. Because <laughs> you know the stuff I like. She watches all right. Oh, look at this. Little Winnie the Pooh address books. Very nice. Oh, okay. oh my gosh. <gasps> Antique baby shoes. Oh my gosh, those are, let's pull one out. Even babies had narrow feet back then. Isn't that funny? Adorable. Oh my gosh, that's, that's amazing. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. Cat, you're, you're a doll. Thank you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, I love these. Oh, I love this stuff. Look. It's a little courting couple. And it's that lace, right? You know how they used to put the lace on all the things back in the day? Very stiff, like glued down. That's going right in the cabinet. You little stinker, you. You little stinker. These are amazing. Oh, my gosh. Look at this box. Oh, I love it. I am... I apparently am very easy to, I swear I'm easy to please. I don't know. I get very excited. Look at a little poodle pen. Oh my gosh. Look at, oh, get out of here. A little Madam Alexander McDonald's working girl. <laughs> a little McDonald employee. Oh my gosh. Ooh, a sweater clip. I love sweater clips too. Oh my gosh, little, she labeled everything. You, girl, girl, mm -mm. Oh yeah, a beautiful compact mirror. There's more things in here. I'm just gonna try not to pull everything out because I'm gonna fool around with it in a little bit, but oh my gosh, she loaded me up. <gasps> oh. Oh my gosh, sheet music. She said it's bridal romantic sheet music, Mozart, Christmas, Porgy and Bess. Wow, that's beautiful. I love, I do love that stuff. I love it. I actually have someone right now that I'm trying to procure some stuff for her. Oh, girl, it's, Oh my gosh, seriously? Okay, I'm gonna show you this in one second. I swear. I just, yeah, there is a teeny, tiny, teeny, teeny, teeny. Where are you, teeny, teeny? There it is. It's a cross, okay. Oh. Swans, and there, are these Lennox? Oh my gosh. 
they're going right girl these are just um, these are going right in the cabinet <laughs> and she sent me across you are something young lady oh and some gold leaf wow cat that is you are such a sweetheart. I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much, so much. I know, it's like I always get like so overwhelmed like when you get like beautiful things like that. It just blows my mind. Thank you again. I appreciate you, Kat, thinking of me. I so do. So let me see. I wanted to quickly talk about this. This is just a quick, quick little thing. Again, everybody is on their own and can do whatever they choose to. So this past week, I went for my annual exam, my mammo, everything's perfect. What more could you ask for than to have good health, right? So I have um, a family member also went to the doctor. They thought the doctor suggested an additional test for this person. The person listened and found unimaginable not goodness for that person it's been very rough patch I'm just trying not to reveal you know whatever I'm trying to like keep the person's an anonymity so anyway things because of listening to that and going and doing the extra testing and all these extra things this person if they did not listen would not be here that's all that i'm going to say they would not be here and i can't even imagine my world without this person in it so i am so happy you you know they did what they needed to do they're here and they're doing well don't your health is something that is so important don't take it lightly I'm sure that a lot of you know what I'm saying, right? I'm t the reason I'm saying some of this stuff is, you know, not that I never wanted to take good care of my health, which, you know, I do. I'm really good with going for my annuals. I, you know, I've always been a big believer of that, right? Because early detection is some of the best things ever on the face of the planet. Now that I have Joni, I... I don't want to spend any less time with her because of something like that. So I am making 100% sure that I take care of business. So you'll probably see some changes coming soon. I'm, you know, everybody needs to make changes in their life. I do. I need to staple my mouth shut. But anyway, um, so I'm hoping to make some personal changes for myself to make sure that I have the best health and the longest amount of time here that I can with my children, with my grandbaby, grandbabies. I do, yep, that's another story. And um, just to live a great life and not, and have one, not that to worry about. So anyway, that's my spiel, that is it. I have known too many people that have uh, passed away from breast cancer and all different cancers to not pay attention and take care of what you need to do, right? So anyway, that's my message. You know, take it or leave it. I, you know, I'm not for it. I don't want to, I would never force anybody to do anything that they don't want to do. I'm just telling you from my perspective. So anyway, I am going to head on out of here because I got to get finishing my listing for my whatnot but I had to do this first because half of this stuff is going on my whatnot so anyway you guys take care I appreciate you coming and hanging out with me it's always a pleasure love to all of you and I will see you again soon the next video should be a thrifting one we'll see how it goes okay in the meantime you guys take care and have a great day